It says here that you need to keep your hands even with your shoulders. Um, and something about the tips of your feet. Back straight. And it says you're really supposed to feel your trapezius minor tighten. If it gets any tighter, a fish will squirt out. Oof. Okay, take a break, Adam. Oh, hi. Um, I'm Graydon Carter. Welcome to the July issue of Vanity Fair. This month, the cover features Angelina Jolie with sensational photographs taken by Patrick de Marchelier. The profile, written by Rich Cohen, captures a woman who may just be the Liz Taylor of our age, or given her growing family, the Eddie Foy of our age. That's for you older web browsers. I'm very pleased to tell you that we're featuring a piece by Michael Lewis, one of the great journalists at work today. His story is about the plight of young Cuban baseball stars helping to flee their country either for riches or freedom or both as the Castro regime enters its twilight. Lewis takes us through the shady and corrupt Cuban big leagues, a microcosm of the demise of this once proud country. I promise that once you start reading it, you won't be able to put it down. We're also publishing a searing see-all profile of Bill Clinton. Todd Purdom, our national correspondent, who not only knew Clinton when he covered the White House for the New York Times, but whose wife, Dee Dee Myers, served as the president's press secretary, leaves no dirty secret unexamined. There's nothing about Clinton's rat pack of billionaires and clandestine friendships that Purdom doesn't know. And after reading this, perhaps there are a few bits that you may wish you didn't know. This year marks the 50th anniversary of the founding of the internet. In this issue, we have an excellent oral history of the internet in which its creators trace the path from Sputnik in the 1950s to Facebook today. This year also marks the 100th anniversary of the birth of James Bond creator, Ian Fleming. To commemorate the milestone, Fleming's estate has commissioned British novelist Sebastian Folkes to write a new Bond adventure, a chapter of which is excerpted in this issue. Here, 007 engages in a game of tennis against his rival, Dr. Julius Gorner. But as the game proceeds, it becomes clear that the match has been rigged. It's a plot so deep, only James Bond can find his way out. I'm Graydon Carter. Thank you for being with us again this month. Now I'd like to turn things over to our Vanity Fair Studio Orchestra. There'll be, there'll be a Tanglewood next month. Uh, for tickets, go to VF.com. <laughs>